What's up, guys? Wakey420 here, as usual. Just chilling. And, uh, showing off the new Chris Ross album. Oh, yeah. Halfway to Wonderland. Picked it up at Global Beverage Warehouse in Ellsworth. May 8th, I believe it was released. Release. Today is May 9th, so. Another great album. A few songs that I'm obsessing over, like I was on the old All the Way Down. Got his first album here, too. Been critiquing a little bit. I know I'm no critic, but I don't know. He got, not to say this ain't a great new album. I got a bunch of favorite songs on here. I'll give you my top picks here. Booyah! That's what I mean. You know, it's all good. I mean, nothing not down on the album at all. Uh, it was almost like. It was like his voice wasn't, it was like they put too many instruments in there or something. I, I don't know, it's more, that's just my opinion. Love the album completely, but, uh, you know, I'm more about the lyrics myself. And uh, I heard him sing on 100.3 the other day, Jack and Jill. And that was, I, I heard it on YouTube, I follow him on YouTube as well. And, uh. Usually check out his videos he just posts. It's just him and his guitar. The raw form of his songs. And uh, geez, it just strikes a nerve when you just hear him playing that song, Jack and Jill. With just him and the guitar. I think it's great. I, the lyrics are just... And then it's like, I heard it on the album and I'm like... Felt like I was supposed to kind of dance to it. Like it was a big built up thing not that it was bad at all not saying that but as far as my opinion goes I like the I love the lyrics so much that's pretty much all I want to hear anyway but if it sounds like is you got to listen more for the lyrics with a, there's so much twangy stuff slide guitar and stuff going on but hey doing better than I'd ever be able to do with it and definitely a talented kid so Go check out Chris Ross's second album. Putting out an album here. He did it down in Nashville or whatever he did it. But pick it up up to Bull Moose Music. Ten box. Can't go wrong. Can't beat it with a rubber hose. But anyway, I like that Jack and Jill song. It's a good one. Not as good, not as much, I like it, but I don't like it as much as the song all the way down on his first album, which I did the other drunken video about, probably most of you saw that one too, but anyway, if you didn't, go check out his first, if you never got his first album, go get his first album, The Steady Stumble, uh, maybe the new one will grow on me, but I like the first album a little better for some reason, but... No offense, Chris. No to any of the other fans. Love his shit right to death, but this one's gonna grow on me, I think. You ain't gotta worry about it. Take her out on the boat and play her all day long and she'll grow on me. See who this is. Hello? Yeah, so anyway, guys. Two great albums. Get them right on iTunes. Go check him out. Mr. Stiff Whisker on YouTube. He's in my top channels or whatever. But you always get significant. Like, I knew Chris when we were kids. We used to play on a baseball team for a couple of years together. It all gets significant if they get famous or if someone dies to get famous. It's like, oh, his best friends with them. And, you know, I ain't like that. I don't care. He's an acquaintance. And Christ had a few drinks with him at the bar. Laid back, Critter. Fucking doing some great things lyrically. 
musically as far as down East Main goes. I gotta say, Chris, my hat's off to you. Hope best for you. And uh, don't forget, no matter how big you get, you gotta come back chummies and play every now and then so I can come see you. Alright, guys. Wakey 420 approved. Halfway to Wonderland. New album. Just came out the other day. Hot ticket. Go get it. Go get your copy today. Shout for you, Chris. Great album number two. Keep them coming, bud. You know I'm going to buy it. Take her easy, dude.